What's up, Opinions of Mind YouTube? I'm walking Axel, enjoying a beautiful day. Woke up this morning and I immediately stayed away from my phone for 20 to 30 minutes. Wanted to clear my head, woke up at 5.30 on the dot, sat up on my bed, did some stretches, and then went immediately to have some water. I'm reading a book that I wanted to tell you about called Atomic Habits. And Atomic Habits is all about taking really small steps and creating better habits daily and over time, they become remarkable results. You see, a lot of people think that you have to have massive action and it comes out of nowhere and you can't stay consistent with it. It's not realistic. And some people and those people that can, they have a huge why and they understand exactly what it's like to have nothing most often. If this isn't you, that's okay. I wanna make this video because I'm almost 30 years old. I'm 29, I'll be 30 next year. So I wouldn't say almost, but and the entire time I've traded all the amounts of success that I could have had for excuses. And those excuses were that there was a cheat code. Those excuses were that there was a better way for me to do it. Those excuses were that I wasn't bound by the rules that everyone else was bound by and I could create my own success through my own forms of action. And it's been true, I can, but it's taken the time that you see now. I see 17 year olds that are remarkably successful because the influences around them show them things that they have to start with their habits. If you can start actually drinking more water and less soda and taking in less bread and less sugar, then you can have a clear state of mind and you can convince yourself to go run every single day. Or you can convince yourself to go take a stroll and walk and stay healthy and there's just a lot of things that we don't understand that are a catalyst for everything that we do. And what I mean by any of this is that we have the choice. We know exactly what we should do. We just choose not to. So the next time you start to blame yourself, make sure that you're blaming yourself for the right reasons. I know that a lot of the things that we have in life are because of what we've done and what decisions we have and have not made. The reason that we don't get to actually see all of these results is because we've made decisions to not put in the work ethic, to not have the faith, to not put the actual tools in our hands and consistently try to get better at using them. We most often try to make excuses and we most often try to blame other people. Your past life, the past in your actual life right now that you've clung to because of whatever it is that you still hold on to from your past and what people have done to you, what people have said about you, what you've experienced, all that is no excuse. Everything that you can do today, everything that you can do right now, everything that you can do for your future is your choice right now. So make the best choices. Choose to drink more water if that's what you wish to do. Choose to try that plant-based diet if that's what you choose to do. Choose to go for a walk every single day because it doesn't have to be something big. It can be something small every single day. And when it becomes a habit, when you get really great at doing all those things, you're gonna see that you change your life. And that's exactly the book review that I would give Atomic Habits. Everything in that book, I'm reading it for the second time now, has shown me that you just have to put the work in to make one small step in the right direction every day. That's not hard, it's really not. If you have enough willpower, and even if you don't, try to put yourself in your shoes for being a human. Don't sit there and emulate other people's success by doing everything they've done. You can definitely take on what they've learned and see if it applies in your own life, but maybe your way is a little different and that's okay. My way has been completely different. I'm starting a personal brand that I should have started probably seven years ago, but now it makes more sense because I know who I am and I know what my purpose is. And I know how many people I wanna help find their spiritual gift. And I know what I wanna be for people when it comes to those that are not ready to take upon their own voices yet. Those things are important and I've had to make small steps of learning every single day to discover that for myself. Do me a favor after you watch this video, if you're still here, take time, five, 10 minutes, every single day for yourself. Because if you don't have time for yourself, you don't have a life. See you guys soon.